Well, welcome back everyone to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. We're gonna open up this box of Arcane Rising for Dax. Uh, Dax, thank you for doing this. Uh, we also have a free pack and a patron pack available. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can pull something good for that. We've been, it's been roughly, we haven't pulled anything great for that. Uh, Dax, this is your box, my friend. Uh, dude, okay, so let's talk about uh, Unlimited Arcane Rising right now because the EV is a hundred and nine dollars right now, uh, which is you know it, it you know I think uh, you know if I calculate it let's see, uh, the historically we're in like the one, one twenties around there. But here's the thing, here's the thing, historically we're in the one twenties. We're still like one ten, but boxes are so much cheaper than before. Before people used to uh, you know be be looking to get eighty dollar boxes. Now you can get cheaper boxes. Uh, and it's just, it's cheap. So we're shooting for that. Uh, and a lot of the value is wrapped up in the legendary and the majestic slots. Uh, the foil majestic, not really that, there, but the regular majestic and the legendary. And we're looking for command and conquer. And we're looking for, uh, Arknight Skullcap. We're, we're hunting, we're hunting for a hat today. Uh, Spellblade Assault, no Rune Rub. <laughs> no Rune Rub, everyone. Uh, that's where we're at today. So, how's your day going? You doing good? Dax, I hope we I hope we get you something good. The Dax or Dax? Dax. I hope we get you something good, my friend. Uh man, uh it's a uh, Tome of the Ark Knight and an Aether Spindle. This is uh it's starting to become like a little bit of gambling, uh, where you're really shooting for a skull cap um or a command and conquer. You, you get a command and conquer, your whole box is paid for. Uh you get a skull cap, your whole case is paid for. Um it's just one of those things, man. It's a uh, it's a weird, weird world right now. Absorb an aether and a fate foreseen, uh, and it's interesting. It, it's an interesting topic to to start discussing. I might do a video about it later, but discussing where the EV is in the set and and how it all kind of floats to the top here. Um, aether sync, foil locked and loaded. Oh, the foiling is so cool on some of these mechanologist cards. Look at that. Uh, yeah, so everyone's gearing up for Road to Nationals, everyone's gearing up for the calling, so that's what's driving prices insane in terms of uh, some specific singles. Um, you know, Monarch is still not moving very well. Um, Unlimited, I'm talking about. Even First Edition, I mean, First Edition boxes are down to like 250 bucks, 220, 250, uh, depending on the day. <laughs> it's completely crazy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Foil Arknet, wow, what a pack. A forked lightning and a foil arc knight ascendancy. All right, there's our foil majestic, so that's pretty good for you know that's the that's probably a case hit I would say. Uh, yeah, you know, 15, 20 bucks is pretty good. Gets you some good value. Uh, if we you know we still need a legendary, which would obviously be the case hit, but there's like two case hits. It's kind of like a weird thing. The foil majestics haven't moved up as much, uh, so the legendaries are still. Still slotting in at the kind of um, the key here. Silver the tip, man, Ranger. Seems like it's gonna get a buff. Who's excited for the Ranger buff? I am. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for a reason to learn how to play Ranger. Um, all right, life for life, look. She's just like killing him in the middle of the road. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Uh, so who's coming to Vegas? Who's coming to, uh, who's going to, to Cincinnati? Who's going to, uh, you know, who's going to Dallas? That's one I, I kind of forget about, honestly. Ridge Rider Shaw. I'm sure like the West Coast isn't forgetting about Dallas or the, the Southern US. It's just, that's the furthest one away from me. And then Orlando, Orlando, like the national, I'm excited. I can't wait. I can't wait to meet you guys. Uh, the Discord server has been popping off lately. Uh, people excited about Vegas and um, I can't wait to meet some of you guys there. Oh man, that is such a cool girl. So, we still haven't hit a Majestic other than our Foil Majestic. Uh, yeah, I mean, so let's talk about a little, we're gonna keep just babbling. Uh, Red in the Ledger, there's our first Majestic. Uh, Classic Constructed has completely taken the cake. I, we do our third night, look, this playmat is, is Billy's. It put hashtag Team Billy in the comment section. Uh, this play, Billy won this playmat that's below this in the uh, Armory event last night, and um, you know, the the consensus was move to classic constructed. That's the that's the attitude of pretty much not everybody, but a lot probably forty five probably probably seventy five percent of the uh the ooh, life life look she it's just like killing him. 
it, the, it was to move to classic constructor for our online armories and uh i gotta say it's a better game i i've played a, you know i've been practicing um i've been practicing in classic constructor the last couple weeks to prepare uh to make sure i'm, I'm tuned for uh for vegas and um man it's gonna be good and classic constructor is just better format it's just a better format maximum velocity okay we still uh still have a we still have a chance of hitting a command and conquer here uh yeah i mean we still need command and conquer or the legendary that would be nice either one of those arcane though it seems i know i'm like all over the place guys i'm sorry uh it seems like arcane is uh is harder to get from distribution than wtr right now and then on top of that we have a wtr reprint that's kind of confirmed in the um in uh the the printer announcement the other day they kind of said we're gonna have another wtr print so that leaves me questioning how much the skull cap is going to be able to cool off it's cooled off a little bit uh oh knock the death whistle that's a good super room it's cooled off a little bit but it's still in like the 280 range and like if we don't get another reprint of arcane that's not coming down it's just not um it's just not coming down Spellblade Assault, Conve dude, the artwork for Convention Amplifier. Why is that not a play mat? Like the poor guy who did this, Christian. I'm I'm Team Christian, man. Make that a play mat. Like, oh, it's so good. It's so good. All right, we got six packs left, Dex. Come on, baby, give us the skull cap. Give us the the Command and Conquer. Come on, Plunder Run. That's a good card. Take aim. Nothing. Nothing. Not a zilch. Uh, Arknight of Science is good, but that's not going to carry the whole, that's not going to carry the whole thing, man. You gotta, you gotta hit a Command and Conquer, you gotta hit a, you gotta hit something else spicy, especially when they have one Majestic here. Coming down to the close. Uh, yeah. Coming down to the close. Here we go. Uh, Absorbing Aether, Oath Knight. Ah, it's not good. It's not good. Two packs left. Oh, I'm nervous. I hate it when box openings don't go well. I'm nervous. Plunder run. Hey, okay, more to tide. That, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. All right, there's our, it's no command to conquer though. So all in all, I think this will be an average, you know, decently average box. Uh, in the close, amplify the arc knight, stir the ether winds. Uh, I think this will be a, an average box. You got yourself, uh, you know, your two, you know, decent majestics, but they're both class specific. And then you've got four super rares, you know, four lightning's not bad and then the Arc Knight Ascendancy foil. So that's pretty good. Uh, slightly, yeah, I would say it's an average box. Your, your regular Majestics weren't super, super spicy, but you had a, a foil Majestic. Thank you, Dax, for uh, supporting the channel. Uh, if you guys are interested in box openings, go to CavDanesMarket.com. All right, let's go, patrons. All right, this is the patron list. Uh, we'll do this pack right here. We're gonna roll it up. Uh-oh, came off. Uh, seven. Seven. Oh, it's Mitch. Everyone's going to be like, uh, Louie, it wasn't actually seven. It was a seven. This is for Mitch. All right, Mitch. Here we go, buddy. Uh, you can sell it on your... Hey, smash up big tree. Smash, smash, smash. All right, you can sell these cards on your single store. Phantasmify and Seek Horizon. All right, Mitch. Throwing these into the free commons that are available at Cavdane's Market for new players. Uh, you don't care about those. Uh, all right, so here's the trivia question. Trivia question. What clan is Benji a member of? Benji the, the Piercing Wind. What clan is he a member of? Very important. Leave it in the comment section. If we get something good here, it'll be yours. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! What clan? <laughs> Let's go! What clan is Benji a member of? You have to be the first person to leave it in the comment section. I will be monitoring the comment section well. I'll send you a link to get your free $160 Phantasmal Footsteps. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Congratulations, my friends. That's amazing. All right, guys. Hope you have a good day. <laughs> Dax, you didn't get anything good, Dax, but <laughs> have a good day, guys. Remember to be kind to the people around you. We'll see you again next video.